Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial series, this time on Android Wally. -E. Now what is Wally? -E? Well, Wally -E is an HTTP library which makes networking for Android apps really easy and it's really fast. So let's go to the build.gradle file and add the dependency of Wally, -E, which is com.android.wally -E, colon Wally. -E, version 1.1.1 it's the latest currently now go to the manifest file and declare permission internet and if you're going to run this app on android pi then don't forget to set users clear text traffic to true because this is set to false by default and now click on sync now okay so in this video we will learn about string request in Wally. -E. So uh, string request is just to fetch string from the server. So what we'll be creating here is we'll create an app where user can type a text and send it to a server and then server will send that text back to the user and user will uh, show a toast message of the same. Go to activity main.xml file and add an edit text set width to match parent and height to wrap content give this hint enter text and id will be edit text and uh, add a button set width and height to wrap content and it will be below our edit text and give this an id send text will be send now go to mainactivity.java file and have a reference to the UI elements. The first one is the edit text. Find by id r.id.edit text. Then we have the button send. Find by id send. When this button is clicked, then we will get the text from our edit text text to send edit text dot get text to string if this string is empty then we will return otherwise we'll continue so to make http requests using volley you first need to instantiate request queue to instantiate request queue you need to call volley dot new request queue and you need to pass context as its parameter which is main activity dot this now we'll create a string request new string request and this takes the request type as its first parameter so uh, request type can be either post or get what's the difference well post provides more security than get requests so we will use post here. We will enter the URL later in the video. And then next parameter is the response listener, new response listener. So this is called when the server sends something as the response. And the last parameter is error listener. So whenever any error occurs, we will get this method called. And now after the end of the parentheses, add these curly braces and inside this implement method get params and create an object of map and the key will be of string type and value will be of string type. Params we will call this and new hash map. We will put the string as our post parameter, which is text to send. And then we can return params. And to make the request happen, you just need to call request queue dot add string request. That's it. And in our error response, we will show a toast message. 
main activity dot this error and then reason for the error get message length long and in the response we will show our response those dot make text main activity dot this response length long dot show okay so now we are done with the client side so for this video i'll be using ng rock if you don't know what ng rock is then i have a video on that i'll put a link in the description box and ng rock is worth checking out it's one of the coolest services available on the internet for programmers so uh, you should know what it is okay so let's create our php script open any code editor create a new file and save this file as server file.php php and let's accept our string from our post request so it's going to be string equals dollar post and string well what is the string parameter the thing we passed here this is the key string is the key for our actual value so we will accept the string from the post parameter using this and we will just echo it back echo dollar string and this string will be our response so this is it now start an apache server you can use any apache server you like i'll be using xamp now go to services tab and start apache now go to networks tab and enable local host 8080 to 80 forwarding and now go to volumes and mount the volume okay so now go to the stdocs folder if you are using vamp then you have to go to the www folder and paste the server file.php file in this now open the terminal and go to the folder where ngrock is located and enter this command dot slash ngrock http 8080 copy this url and pass this here in the url section of our string request parameters and then put a slash and the name of our php file that is server file dot php now we can run and test our app enter some text let's say how are you and it works we get the response how are you okay so if you like this video then give this a like and subscribe to the channel